We're here at uh, Sun Valley Estates, 1445 on Florida Avenue. And uh, here with the crazy guy with the lazy eye for Him and I News. I'm John Strangers reporting for Him and I News. And uh, we were on scene because uh, we were looking for an individual that was being chased by police, apparently gang affiliated, but they did not manage to uh, get a hold of him and apprehend him this time. So we have one person here that uh, knows a little bit what was going down. So you want to tell us what, we, what you saw, what happened? Well, I was out having conversation with my neighbors, and we saw a Hispanic male coming between the mobile homes. He was acting kind of suspicious. The gang was actually heading south through the park. We all looked at each other because we didn't know him. Next thing you know, the guy takes off two mobiles down and heads west. The mobile home park starts running. The gang task force turned around. The the officer jumped out of the passenger side and the chase was on. And apparently that's all we saw. So they did manage to see him yes. and chase him for a while until they lost visual of him? Yes. Is that how it went? Yes. Do you have an idea of where, whether he went? Because there's Jackson Mobile Home Park on that side, and that area is kind of uh, questionable because there seems to be a lot of drug activity going on and so forth. Uh, well, there's also activity over on the east side of our mobile home park uh -huh. where the subject went. He actually went east. Oh, he, he went, went down, east. he went south to mobiles, and then he went east through the mobiles, and he resides somewhere down on the east side. Okay, so you might still be in there. Yes, yes. Uh, as far as I know from a, another source, he is wanted but for misdemeanor parole violation. But it looked like he had something that he was trying to ditch or hide. So uh, we actually went over there and, and we're looking. Uh, I see. The neighbors. He might have he had some drugs or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he had something because he had something in his hand. He was acting really suspicious when he came through. He was looking all around. And when I looked at the gang task force and my neighbors, and we shrugged our shoulders like, hey, we don't know him. And that's when they turned around and chased him. What was he wearing? He was wearing a gray hoodie with uh, dark, dark blue jeans. The jacket actually said something on it. I couldn't make out what it was, but he had some. Yeah, something he was like yeah, a and he bag was, or a package yeah. or something like that. I can't that, tell. He, is, he was fumbling around something, and he, you know how when suspicious people look around, we right. knew he was up to something. And as soon as he turned around and he saw the gang task force turning around, and he just booked it. And then they turned around, and the passenger jumped out, and, and they went chasing him. Where they lost him is the area where he stays. Okay, so probably someone else uh, gave him, uh, I don't know, maybe access to their home or to. Yeah. Or he managed to jump in someplace. He had to, it is. because it, they were like right behind him, so he had to jump in somewhere quick. All right, so apparently, uh, MPD didn't manage to catch him, and uh, there was also Highway Patrol, and uh, they didn't manage to catch him either. So he's probably still around this area, most likely gang affiliated, because the gang task force was also involved. He had a package that apparently he hid. We don't know if he hid something, but uh, he's fumbling something. She, actually, yeah, me and some neighbors. Yeah. That they right. don't want to be destroyed. For all you know, he had drugs on him or something like that, something. and he hit him. Just allegations at this point, but like I said, we're over here at Sun Valley Estates, over on 1445 on Let's Florida start. Avenue, at least Florida Avenue in Hemet, California. And uh, I'm John Strangers, reporting for uh, Hemet Eye News with uh, the crazy guy with the lazy eye, Eddie George. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me again, the crazy guy with the lazy eye, and we're showing you what the trouble is up in our neighborhood right here. We're over here at the Sun Valley Estates, and we're going to show you what the residents are having issues with out here. We just had a police pursuit out here. We also got another issue. We got one of the community members out here that wants to say his speech on what issues is going on. Even got a few of his children here would like to say something as well. Being kids growing up in this area, you know, we want to hear from our kids too what this is affecting our neighborhood. So. Gary, will you tell me what's, what the issues are you having over here at Sun Valley Estates? Okay, the issues what we got right now is, is a big issue and, and, a, and, and a big problem is with Jackson Mobile Home Park, which is catty corner to us over here, which we'll show you in a minute, uh, coming through the fence, selling drugs, coming over here, stealing stuff from us and everywhere else. And the cops chase them and they zigzag through here and the cops lose them because it's, it's only two aisles but it's easy to get. It's easy for a cop to lose somebody in here. Like watching what happened for kids tonight. Running, watching for yeah, for watching for kids running, and boom, boom, and underneath the fence they go. Right. And they're gone. And we're going to show you a few. And we're going to show where you where they, they go. And we, the cops have already know know about it. 
There's only so much they can do, but we need to put a stop to it because we keep fixing the fence and they keep cutting it. That's why we need to uh, vote yes on the Measure E That's so we it. can get more officers out here. More officers out here, extra patrol. I've asked for extra patrol and I think that's what happened tonight. They happened to come through and see the two little guys, uh, Mexican guys, and, and approached them or something and they bolted and it was on. All right, now we got your children here. Uh, what's your name? Samantha. Samantha and Cynthia. Cynthia, I like that name. I know you from somewhere. I bet you follow she me came on to Facebook. Your house with us. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> but what is the issues that you guys are having here? What I'm talking about. Um, well, we were playing at the park one here one day, and um, we just saw these these like two guys run that way, and then we we watched them like grab a bag and then run back out. Did it scare you? Kind of, yeah. So how does that make you feel living out here? Um, it kind of makes me scared, to be honest. You wish they would try to do something out here to make it more safer for your children to play? Yeah. Hey, what about yeah, it you? Wasn't, it wasn't one time. It was several times. Several, several times, times you yeah. sing this. Yeah. Okay, what about you? One day I was playing at the park with my friend, and we saw this guy. Um, he had a blue shirt, and he had like a bag. And he was walking, and he went through there, and he left his back over there, and he went and crossed through those houses. Did he disappear, and you never seen him again? Uh, I think that's a Bermuda Triangle over here. This they, 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 yeah, here. well, they, you come they, in, you, what you what disappear. And what they're trying to say, I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit on it. Is uh, uh, the people with the backpacks is they go they go out they go out with an empty backpack, and they come back with a full backpack, and they dart through here, and then they go underneath there. And that's where they go. They come back with all their stolen goods and they go right to Space 37 over there is where they go. They like to hide in the sheds yeah, and sleep there during the day. Yeah, it looks like this shit will go right here. Yeah, they grill it and they keep breaking them open. They, they seal it, break it, like it's locked. But they, they break, break it open, open, they go in there and they do their drugs and they sleep. Yeah, they this do is one of the vacant yeah. houses too, isn't it? Yeah, it's a vacant house. Nobody wants to buy it because they're sick of it. That's why the people moved out to begin with. So let's check the fire out. Okay, and we can close it. Try it that way. Right, oh, nice little hole. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Grandpa just fixed it again. It was up. It was up to here again. Look yeah, at their little tents. Right mm -hmm. They like to go right there in that they vacant lot it. and they go over, they gather and do their over. drugs. Here's where they throw their bikes over, yeah. the stolen bikes, whatever okay. they steal, they throw it over and they go over. Yeah. And you gotta admit, it's a perfect little snag for yeah. for them to do, but it's gonna end. It's gonna end. That because it's gonna it's gonna end. If the cops don't end it, we're gonna end it. It's gonna end. People are going yeah, to start yeah, we're, taking we're, law we're tired. Your hands. We're tired. Yeah, of it. The neighborhood needs to come together. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're. I'm not gonna say it. We're, we're tired of it, but Eddie, we are sick and tired of this crap, man. Yeah, I mean, this is constantly, 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 constantly. We have kids to protect over here. Okay, we don't want your drug. You want to do drugs? You stay on that side. That's what the problem is, and we're and we're sick of it. Stay on your side of the yard. Stay on your side. You, you, hey, go over there and shoot yourself to death, or do whatever you want. <laughs> don't come on our side. And, and this is what happens. This is it. And I'll tell you what, folks, we need to get together and do something about this. So what do you think? Comment below. Let us know. This is the crazy guy with the lazy eye with him and I news.com.